Hello guys, insane times are here. In an incredible development, Mobius Labs used HQQ to quantize the model in one bit precision and fine tuned it using low rank adaptation on 25,000 samples only. HQQ is a fast and accurate model quantizer that skips the need for calibration data. It's super simple to implement. It can crunch through quantizing the Lama 270 billion model in only four minutes. That's right, you have heard it right. This is the one bit Lama 27 billion chat model. They have also done it in two bits. Both of these experimental two and one bit quantized Lama 27 billion models with a low rack adapter quantized using the proposed HQQ plus approach. This showcases the potential of extreme low bit quantization in machine learning models. Despite the challenges posed by such extreme settings, the fine tuned models demonstrate significant improvements in output quality. In this blog post and technical report, they have also shown that the fine tuned models can take advantage of the optimized low bit metrics multiplication formulation, which could significantly reduce the memory and compute requirements, making larger models more accessible. While binary and ternary metmal kernels are still not available, I think very very soon this work and similar works like these are going to spark more interest to develop both software and hardware that could take full advantage of this approach in the near future. Now there are a lot of cool things which are happening in this one bit model. This is like directly applying one bit quantization to small models like Lama to 7 billion and that yields suboptimal results. But when the model is fine tuned, its output quality improves substantially. Also remarkably, the fine tuned one bit base model surpasses the performance of two bit despite being trained on only 2.8K samples with a context window, window of 1000. How good is that? So the authors of this paper have written a great blog post which I just showed you and I would drop the link to this and the model card in video's description. And they have also done few evaluations to compare the FP16 model to the 1-bit and 2-bit version. The performance degradation is there but models are usable that is the main thing. Now just a very very quickly quantization in LLMs involves converting continuous valued representation of words or tokens into discrete values, typically by reducing the precision of numerical values used within the model's parameter or activation. This process aims to decrease memory usage and computational complexity, making the model more efficient to deploy and run on various hardware platforms. Now, having said that, let's try and install this on our Google Colab. You can use the same instruction locally on any of the Linux system. This is my Google Colab as you can see on your screen. And let me quickly select my uh, runtime to T4 GPU. Done. Let's install some of the prerequisites. We need to install this HQQ, which I described you before. Let's wait for this to install. Gonna take too long now. That is being installed, and then we will install the accelerate and inops. Accelerate just accelerates uh, the uh, PyTorch and tensor, and then inops is basically reshaping the tensors. Let's wait for it to finish. It will take too long now. Okay, so both are done. Now let's import few of the prerequisites which we have installed, which is HQ, QEngine, Transformers, and also our torch. This shouldn't take too long. Too long. Now let's specify our models here. Once it is imported, and and these are the models which we are going to load. One is a one bit, and the other one is a full bit. 
let's specify them that is done and now let's specify the data type that is done now let's load the quantized model using hqq this is a one bit model which we are loading it shouldn't take too long and you can see the size is also very very small just three gigs seven billion let's wait for it to finish almost there that is done let's load the full model that is there are two shards first is just under 10 gig hopefully this collab would be able to sustain wait for it to so both of the models are loaded now let's specify our tokenizer and this is the tokenizer for the quantized model and now let's set up the inference by configuring the tokenizer and the model and these are the usual commands it's done and now let's configure both models to use cache for faster inference let me paste the command and now let's define a function for streaming inference and these commands are present on their github repo which i will drop the link let's generate the model um, input with the tokenizer we also we also need to first define it which so let me quickly do that so if this time i have put in the whole thing and this has worked so if just to uh, browse through you again this is a function we defined which is receiving our prompt template model tokenizer and everything with some of the hyper parameters we are using streaming here defining chat prompt and then some of the hyper parameters top p top k and all the usual stuff with the input then it generates the output and then we print it in this form let's pass it some of the values now here all we are doing we are importing the random then we are defining some of the question selecting the rand question randomly passing it to the function and creating the output so let me run it so there you go so first question was randomly selected what is the solution to this and then it has gone to the assistant and you can see that because it's a very very uh, community gpu it is very slow as you can see here it is slowly printing the response so i will let it run but you can see that even with the one bit this is very much usable and you keep running it it is going to give you answers by selecting these questions randomly now as i mentioned earlier in this blog post there is a lot of other information available which you can read through as uh, how it has been done there are some math equation involved and also they have given the explanation how they have done the fine tuning with low rank adapter and this is really a really good read so that's it guys uh, very excited to share this i think this is the future these are still very very early days they have just started just imagine all of these models available in one bit or two bit just imagine and you can run all of these mega mega models on your community gpus or even cpus if they are one bit my humble opinion because it is still slow but i think as with the passage of time this is going to improve a lot let me know your thoughts i am very very excited about this model and one more thing i wanted to show you you can see that not only it has uh, one bit it also has two bit in this one and this guy 
has lot of other models available there you go so llama to 7 billion chat 1 bit llama to 7 billion chat 2 bit how good is that so really hats off to him for this and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching